So here I have a spreadsheet showing me um, income by month and as you can see I've got income and expenditure going on over here and a profit column. Now this is a very small um, sample but you might have a bigger one and what I'd like to do is I'd like to instantly be able to see those cells with a profit that's greater than £10. I'd like Excel to automatically highlight that for me. So what I'll do is I'll highlight the cells that I want to include in this format and I'm going to use a fantastic little tool called Conditional Formatting. It lives up here in 2008 on the Format menu. So I'll click the Format menu now. And as you can see, here I have Conditional Formatting. I'll choose that one and I get a dialog box. Now this allows me to set up the, the criteria I would like Excel to follow. I can choose to base it on a formula or on a simple value, which is what I'm going to do now. And I simply want any cell which is greater than and the value of, say, £15. And then I'm going to tell Excel what format to use. So I'll go into Format. And as you can see, I can choose any format I like. I'm going to make um, the, um, the text color go uh, light green. And I'm going to go to uh, Patterns. And I'm going to have a dark green shading. So my light green text will show up on my dark green. When I click OK, as you can see, if I deselect, anything that is greater than £15 has shown up with a dark green background and light green text. So if I re-highlight that and go back into Format, Conditional Formatting, as you can see, there's my format set. I can carry on adding until I've had enough. I can add up to three in this version. As you can see, I can no longer add any more. So I can just um, cancel those two conditions and I'm still with this one. When I don't want my format anymore, I will just delete it. Delete condition number one, off we go, and the format is removed. So there you have how to use conditional formatting to highlight important values in your spreadsheet in Office 2000, Excel 2008.